Hello people, this is going to be the third installment of the Fly Leaving Method cleaning playlist video, whatever. You know, I'm just gonna clean my house, basically. <laughs> Zone 3 is the bathroom, I think. And by the way, can I just mention something about the fly lady? I had to unsubscribe from her emails. It's too much. She sends way too much. I can't keep up with it. I don't have time to read 7 emails a day. She probably sends more like 10 or maybe 20. I can I just swipe delete them. I can't even deal with it anymore. Okay, oh great, my phone battery is like 4%. So, um, let's get this started and we're going to start in the bathroom this week. Even though this was probably like more like two weeks ago, but we'll get over that. We're going to clean the bathroom today. Hopefully my phone does not die. Okay. Dear friends, we're back in the bathroom. Here is a really simple mission for you. Clear off the countertops and flat surfaces. Put away the medicines, the toothbrushes, the cosmetics, etc. Bathroom counters are hot spots for all of us, but we don't think of them as hot spots because we think we need the stuff. So we just let it sit. Put these things away. Do not get sidetracked with emptying out your cabinets and drawers. Just get rid of the stuff that is on the countertops and other flat surfaces. Okay, dear friends, today, Tuesday, I want you to grab those old toothbrushes that you have just for cleaning and scrub those sink faucets and tub faucets. It's amazing how gross those faucets can get. Just a little soap and water with the toothbrush will make a huge difference. I know this is... One of those missions that makes you groan, but it takes less than five minutes to do, and those faucets will shine. Well, will they shine? Let's see. I feel like um, my bathtubs are seriously the most neglected part of my house. I clean them kind of when I'm in the shower, but kind of not because, you know, I'm cleaning my body. <laughs> Okay, dear friends, Wednesday, the bathroom today. Take 10 minutes to toss old cosmetics and perfumes. If you have these items that you have not used for over a year, but they are still hanging around, it's time to dump them. Let's dump those lipsticks, mascaras, and eyeshadows that we have held on to since high school and college. Seriously, do you guys still have makeup from college? <laughs> I don't have anything from college. <laughs> the key to what to not... What does that... That doesn't even make sense. The key to what to not to keep is, oh my gosh, seriously, say that 12 times fast. If you have not worn anything in the past year, then toss. No mercy is what I like to say. No mercy. The fly lady doesn't say that. She's not cool enough. Anyway, most cosmetics have a limited shelf life and are harboring grounds for bacteria. This also applies to lotions and moisturizers. Okay, so um, I seriously, I'm like a minimalist when it comes to makeup, <laughs> obviously, but yeah, I, I normally go through my makeup pretty regularly, like I only have one item and then I toss it when I'm done and I buy a new one, except for Ipsy. Ipsy gets me with all those little trinkets and stuff. Oh no! <sighs> Dear friends, your mission for today, Thursday, is to check the supplies that are needed in your bathroom. Do you need toilet paper, toothpaste, shampoo, mouthwash, soap, etc.? Add these to your shopping list this week. Take a visual inventory to make sure that you have what you need so one of your family members are not stuck in the bathroom yelling for toilet paper. Nothing says I love you like plenty of toilet paper. I'm pretty sure a million other things say I love you other than toilet paper. <laughs> These things are so easy to forget until you are standing in the shower with no soap. Get a list ready for your next errand day. Have fun and don't obsess. Just one baby step at a time. Dear friends, today we are going to shine our tubs or showers. We've talked about shining our sinks since you started and we want you to take 10 to 10, 10 to 10 minutes really Kim, learn to read, 5 to 10 minutes to shine that tub or shower. Do not get obsessed with the tub being perfect, just scrub the tub with whatever works. There is no perfect tub slash shower cleaner or perfect way to do this. Shampoo on a washcloth will work. Whatever or however you choose, anything is better than nothing. Then spritz it with a little Windex and dry it with a towel like you shine your sink. Um, I think that's the end of the week. Hallelujah. So it's like little steps, okay? And here's the thing with Fly Lady that I'm not really following along with week by week. I just, I would rather clean my whole bathroom at once than go in there and be like, oh, today I'm just going to clean my countertops. Like if I'm going in there to clean my countertops, I'm also going to scrub the toilet or like, you know, do whatever else that 
need, that I see needs to be done. Do you feel me? Is that how you clean too? It's not that I'm going to spend all day in the bathroom. I'm just going to be like, oh, this needs to be done and that needs to be done. Bada boom, bada bang. You feel me? Anyway, one thing I wanted to add about the showers, my favorite thing, favorite thing. I like to do a lot of like natural, more natural cleansers, but Tylex, the mold remover Tylex, and I'll show you, is my favorite. Like seriously, I use it on my windows. Like if there's anything around your windows, dirty, whatever, just spray it on there and you don't even have to scrub it. You just let it sit and then come back like 10 minutes later and wipe it and it's clean. And the same thing happens in your bathroom with the tile and grout. Oh my gosh, this stuff is amazing. So tip for you on that. Okay, so that is everything for this week. I hope you enjoyed watching me clean my bathroom slash both of my bathrooms. I think I'm going to just split this up and do like, we have two bathrooms, master bathroom, as I'm sure you've seen in this video already. We have the kids bath, which is also our guest bath, and then our master bath slash my vanity area. Is that confusing enough? I Probably not. You guys probably have the same exact setup. Well, not exactly. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you some kind of inspiration slash motivation, whatever, to clean. And um, check out the rest of the play 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 playlist if you want to clean other parts of your house. Maybe I've already done that in a video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey guys, I realized I didn't tell you this is a bonus clip. I'm showing you all the makeup I'm getting rid of. Okay, so surprisingly, this is everything I found to give away. Ugh, and now I need to clean my counters off. So this lipstick my girls got into, and I'm pretty sure it's uh, mangled, So, and I don't know where the cap is. This one, um, not Trixie. What is that? Ipsy sent me this, and it's just not my color. Neither is this one, sadly enough. I think I got this in the Target box. And it was supposed to be a different color, but they sent me brown. Like, we're not living in the 90s anymore. And I know brown lipstick is in, but it just makes me look like crap. And then these two, like, don't roll on my eyes. They just, like that, it just fell out. Garbage. This, I think it's done with. This was awesome, but I ran out of it. This is a really good mascara. This is a really good concealer. It's my favorite, Maybelline. This is CoverGirl, my favorite, second favorite mascara. This mascara sucked. This one, the Revlon Color Stay. I don't. This was like chalk on my eyelids. It hurt so bad. This I used till it was gone. It's like eye cream. And this was my favorite foundation. I'm actually buying it again. Um, yeah, I really liked it. It's like a three-in-one. I think it's what it's called. And I liked it. It's one of my faves. I haven't used foundation in like a year, so this has been there just for reference for me for a year. But um, yeah, it's definitely gone.